is Sky News Business, Australia's business channel. Looking for good staff can be like searching for a needle in a haystack. So how can you recruit Mr or Mrs Wright instead of Mr or Mrs Wright for now? Kim Quick is an expert in the recruitment game as Chief Operating Officer of Clarius Group, a leading provider of contracting and recruitment services to companies and government across the Asia Pacific. To share tips on how to get the right employees into your business, Kim joins me now. Welcome Kim. Thank you. Tell us about the business and what you do now because people think recruiters recruit but you do a lot more nowadays. Absolutely. Um, the recruitment business that, that I obviously run is um, the conglomeration of seven different brands. So we have, I suppose we classify ourselves as a house of specialist brands. Right. We have the different divisions that actually focus on a speciality. Um, for example, Candle is our biggest brand. It focuses on IT recruitment and is, is a very big player in that space. Mm. Um, so basically, uh, recruitment's changed a lot over the last couple of years. It continues to change as the employment market changes and as clients' expectations and, and needs mm. change. Um, but what do you do that's different from recruiting nowadays? Well, basically, a lot of organisations now don't necessarily want the historical engagement with an employee, so they're not looking to go and employ a permanent staff member, they're looking for an outcome. So, um, a big part of our business is contracting. So, we put teams of people and, and people into contract roles and, and, you know, with all the clients that we have, we're able to move those around from project to project because mm. often clients don't want to invest in permanent staff for those types of functions. Mm. Um, so, I guess you do a lot of the other costs that go with it in terms of uh, payroll and all that sort of Absolutely, stuff. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's certainly an emerging place in the market where a lot of employees too don't want to have a traditional employment relationship with a company. They mm. want to have that ability to be able to to move around from, from job to job and company to company and project pro to project, particularly in the technology space as, yeah. as that changes so, so dramatically. Apart from using great companies like Clarius, <laughs> what, what are the, the, the things that you've learned about recruiting successfully over the years? Look, I think one of the key things, and, and you know, I, I use our own company as an example, we're, we're, we're a business that's about people. Yeah. So, you know, we, we don't have a product, we don't manufacture anything, our, our people are, are the face of our business. Yeah. So it's it's important from our own internal perspective. But look, I think, I think having a very clear vision, a very clear strategy, knowing what the values of your organisation are, I think are really critical in terms mm. of being able to hire the right fit mm. for a company. You know, you can, you can get a, a person with a fantastic skill set that will be successful in one organisation but not another, even though they're doing the same job as a result of some of those intangible Because you're saying there's a value misfit. In a sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So they're great in this business, they yep. come to your business and you might be a more serious business absolutely. and disciplined business and they're used to lay back and a groovy business or something. Absolutely, yeah. and I think that's that's what underpins the culture of a business. So mm. understanding that is, is critical for, mm. for an, you know, somebody who's looking to engage staff and really understanding what, what drives behaviours uh, yeah. within that organisation. Some people, some entrepreneurs who have been in this program have said to me, you know, I used to hire for, for qualities and experience, but now I hire people for attitude, attitude yeah. and I, I didn't train them to be... Is this something you've learned over the years? Absolutely. Yeah. And, and as, as the, um, the market tightens as far as skill sets go, it, it, it's becoming essential that companies will have to hire for attitude and train for skill. Yeah. Um, so the investment into people is becoming more and more significant yeah. as, you know, skill sets just aren't readily available. Yeah. We, we produce um, a, a report which measures the skilled labour market on a quarterly basis and you know more and more and even during the, the global financial crisis there was still a degree of shortages in some skill sets in the mm. marketplace. Okay. One area where a lot of businesses find it really hard and I often tease my colleagues at the television station who are Gen Y is that yep. the Gen Y has yep. become a, a massive challenge to baby boomers even to Gen X and Absolutely, uh, yeah. but what have you learned about Gen Y that could really help us lead them better? Look, I think, I, I think Gen Y has real expectations around what their employer's image is in the marketplace yeah. and what their values are and what they do for... Uppity so absolutely, aren't they? <laughs> absolutely. Well, look, it's been interesting the last couple of years and, you know, we, we have a large um, Gen Y workforce in our yeah. organisation yeah. and the last couple of years has probably been a good lesson for some of them who have never worked in a recession, they've never worked in a, a tough marketplace, they've yeah. never found it hard to find jobs. So, yeah. you know, I think that that experience has toughened some of them up and, and lowered the expectations a little bit. Mm. But I think what's important to know about Gen Y is values are very important to them. Mm. They want to work for environmentally 
conscious organisations mm. and, and community-minded organisations and you know, I think their, their view of life is they, a, a lot of them, not all of them, they, they certainly um, work really in, to, to work around their lifestyle largely. So mm. it's important to have that flexibility and the, the capability to provide them with, with a mix of, of both professional Well, the next thing question is you, you hire some good people, how do you keep them? What's, what's the retention trick that you can teach us? Yeah. To, to <laughs> well, that's critical right now. Yeah. They're, once they're gone, they're hard to replace yeah. and expensive to replace. I think you know, the, the main thing is really um, being clear about expectations, um, helping, helping people to perform to those and, and ideally beyond those expectations and rewarding them. Mm. And you know, I think we're seeing a lot more um, flexible remuneration programs in, in the marketplace today where some of the, the rewards are flexibility. Mm. You know, Should we talk to them a lot and, and get an idea of what's making them Absolutely. happy in the workplace and what's making them unhappy so we at least can anticipate a problem that might become something that leads to an exit. Absolutely. And look, I think, you know, a lot of managers are Gen X or baby boomers. Mm. So there's, there is a real gap between the decision makers yep. and the people who are living in the, the corporation. So right. I think having forums whereby people can express what, what's important to them. Mm. Uh, the big one right now, as I've said, is flexibility. You know, mm. they want to be able to go and work from home one day so they can have a surf at lunchtime. Mm. Um, those types of things will ensure that you do keep staff a lot longer. Okay, well, thanks for the tips. I don't know if you'll ever make it easy, but certainly I think listening to them is probably the starting point. Absolutely, isn't it? without yeah. a doubt. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. That's the show for this week. For more Grow Your Business or to watch the show again, go to skynewsbusiness.com.au and select the Programs tab. For details on Grow Your Business magazine, check out switzer.com.au. I'll see you next week, and remember, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Nothing changes.